Some exciting news around here. NBC Sports Philadelphia and the 76ers announced veteran broadcaster Kate Scott will be the new play-by-play -play voice of the Sixers, replacing the retired Mark Zumoff. I am so proud right now to welcome in Kate Scott to our show. Kate, first, congratulations. Congratulations on joining us here at NBC Sports Philadelphia and, of course, being the new voice of the 76ers. How long have you been dreaming of a job like this, the new play-by-play -play voice of the 76ers? Oh, Amy, first of all, thank you. I cannot wait to get out to Philadelphia. I'm so excited uh, to say hi to all of you in person and so excited about this opportunity. Um, how long have I been dreaming? Probably since I started to think of play-by-play -play as a career almost 20 years ago um, when I heard Pam Ward and Beth Mowens and Gail Searns and just a very select few other women doing this. Um, and I got an opportunity right after I graduated from UC Berkeley to try it myself. And I was awful uh, like everybody when they started job, but I loved it because there was that rush of you're at a live game again. You're a part of things as much as you can be without actually playing or coaching in the event. Um, and since then, I just thought, you know, never knew if it would happen, right? There's so many thousands of people who do this, um, but always hoped I would get this opportunity. And now for it to be with you all, the Sixers, come on, are you kidding me? Uh, I've been pinching myself all day. You know, in the press release that announced your hire, you said you used to pretend you were Allen Iverson dribbling all around your driveway. A whole lot of people around here can absolutely relate to that, especially when the clock was ticking down. So what was your favorite thing about watching AI? Well, I just love the fact that he, he didn't belong, right? He was mm -hmm. too short. He was too small. He shouldn't have made it in the NBA. And I know probably to a lot of Philly natives, that sounds weird coming from a California kid like me, but I just, I felt that. I loved his swag. I love the way that nobody wanted him there, except for you Philadelphia 76ers fans, right? But, but he said, no, I'm going to do it. I, I know that I've got a lot of doubters out there, but I'm going to find a way. So this kid out in California related to that and uh, loved it and loved rooting for him and the way that he slowly but surely right worked his way up and led the Sixers all the way to the finals. Um, so I, I just loved that everybody um, was telling him that he wouldn't make it. And he said, you know what, I'm going to dig deep within myself and and figure out a way to do it. Well, of course, let's talk about this current Sixers squad. There's no shortage of drama as you come on board. Ben Simmons demanding the trade, you know, all these back and forth things, everything going through the media channels and social media. What do you thought watching it unfold from afar? All I know is that I have watched and respected the team from afar for a number of years, and you all have been building in the right direction. And there's something special brewing. Joel is awesome. I got mm -hmm. to obviously see Matisse with Australia um, over the summer in the Olympics and have known Matisse for a long time since he was balling out with the Washington Huskies. I think Doc Rivers is a fantastic coach, and I think a lot of the other role players you got are uh, headed in the right direction too. So I'm really looking forward to getting out there in just a few days and getting to, to learn um, a lot more about everybody once I get there. But, uh, you know, I, I think I think from the outside looking in, there's drama, right? Because people like to stir the pot, mm -hmm. but uh, everything I've watched the past couple of years, I know the process is the big, the big <laughs> word, the big phrase that has been going around, but in my opinion, the process is trending definitely mm -hmm. in the right direction. And there's always challenges in processes, right? Nothing's ever smooth. So this is just another challenge that the team's going to get through. And we'll all get through as fans and broadcasters. And I just can't wait to be a part of everything. How excited are you just to hit the ground running? Because that's where we're throwing you right into the fire, girl. You and I will be out there on media <laughs> day on Monday. Yep, that's the best way to do it, Amy, right? Don't don't think about it. The more time you have to think, I'm a, I'm an overanalyzer and a worrier and stuff, so it's almost better that it's like I'm calling football on Saturday and getting on a plane early Sunday and flying out to Philadelphia and just diving in, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So, again, thanks to, thanks to you and everybody at NBC Philly who was so kind. Um, thanks to all the fans who have tweeted. I cannot wait to get out there and get to say hello to all of you in person. And as I said, hopefully uh, earn your trust and respect one call and one game at a time because I know there is no replacing Zoo. I, I've been friends with Mark for a couple of years now. He is an absolute legend. Mm -hmm. And I told myself, anybody who tries to follow him is an idiot. So, uh, <laughs> hey, everybody, you're, you're looking at her. But obviously not going to try to replace him. There's no way you replace a legend. Um, but just so looking forward to being myself and getting to know all of you and, and getting to have a, another great season of Sixers ball. Oh, we're looking forward to it, Kate. Congratulations again. Thanks so much for joining us here on Sportsnet Central. We'll see you soon. Thanks for having me, Amy.